What's the business, YouTube? My name is Chris. I'm back at you. I'm minding my business again, tending to it. And uh, while I was minding my business, uh, a great mind bender came in, and it was uh, the subject of communication. Communication. To me, communication is so key. And, you know, that's very cliche communication key we've heard this millions of times but it didn't really click in me until I started the business right the carpet cleaning business all right we started the carpet cleaning business new clean and I didn't realize how Very, very, very fragile my communication skills really were. I mean, in the beginning, um, I did a lot of conversations, a lot of conversating, right? Communication, conversation, you know, that could be a mind bender right there. It's a very thin line between that, and I learned that in business, you know. Um, in the beginning, not getting my point across, not getting my information across how I should, you know, um, fear. You know, I think my last video, I, I talked about the fear, you know, satisfaction guarantee. Well, fear, like I said, that's, that's, the, that's the, the strangle on, our, on a business, you know, fear. And most people, I'm, I'm thinking, <laughs> just from experience, most people that start off with business have a lot of fear right and then that goes into with the communication because communication has a lot to do with verbal being verbal talking right and conversation has to do with talking but it's that thin line right that's what I'm going into today uh, that thin line you know customer calls this is in the beginning customer calls um, I'm just very excited to have a customer you know even now I'm excited to have a customer I don't care. I'm always excited. But, uh, I'm, I'm glad that that drive hasn't really left yet because I I love the customers and I always appreciate you all. <laughs> but um, in the beginning, I mean, just starting off, of course, you want those cus you want your you know your first number of customers, right? And, and then you feel kind of fulfilled that yeah, you're you're really involved and you're in business. You know those baby steps, you know, fragile baby steps, and a lot of fears in that, you know. So you call and you know you 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 you're, you're skeptical of, of telling them your price and you don't know if your price is high or if it's too low or you know you don't know if if you're if you're giving accurate prices uh, um, prices that they should give you know you you're you're definitely in a, in the mix with that and in that a lot of times it it turns into a conversation instead of communication. You know, it turns into a, um, well, hey, I'm on my way. Just say yes. Well, uh, what's your price? Well, um, my price is, and even in that delivery of what you want to tell them about your price, that fear in you, it just denounces the whole communication. It just, just, just. Boom, knocks it right out the box. No communication, it's just a conversation. And they can kind of sense that a lot. A lot of times, people in general, not just customers, people can sense the confidence in what you're trying to deliver, which is communication. You know, most of the times when we communicate, there's confidence because you're delivering information. And when it's conversation, and the most times, and this is that thin line, it's mostly just ideas being opinionated right just really just as a matter of fact type of interaction between two or few more people right nothing really exchanging of substance or that is going to come to fruition to something that was pre-thought of to be if that makes sense <laughs> you know what i mean filibustering just conversation small talk 
doesn't really mean anything. Some things in there can be good information or it can be something to think about, but it's not based in that manner. It's only just small talk, just opinionated. And then there's that communication where it's like an arrow, like you, you aim that arrow at the, at the target, right? And you make sure that arrow hits the target. You make sure it hits the target. Communication, right? Off the subject, let's say, fellas, you know, or anyone, you know, you meet, you meet someone of the opposite set of, of the person that you like. <laughs> uh, say, fellas, if you like the ladies, you know, if you, if you, if you, if you meet a lady that you like, you know, um, the thin line right there can be conversation, communication. In line. And it will resonate when you approach or when you decide to deliver what you're going to deliver as far as what you're going to say. What you say can either be communication or conversation. So tricky. It's so tricky. Um, but the, it's not so tricky if you just Put it into this, in this mindset. Communication is going right to the point of what the information, of what information, the information needs to be delivered. The whole point of a matter of fact of what I am trying to tell you and nothing else, nothing else included, completely to the point yes these are my prices for this for that and for this in some cases it may be more than what it is now of what me telling you because of this fact right here and if this fact is a fact then it will be more money or if this fact is a fact it actually can be less money it all depends on this fact as a matter of fact to the t nothing else excluded to the t i mean you can never talk too much or deliver too much information to the t you know and then that builds confidence because you have given them the information that you want to deliver as a matter of fact. That is point blank communication. Point blank communication. And then you have to factor in with communication. You have words. Those are tools to communicate actions to communicate symbols symbols is action words is verbal that's communication the logo that we have on our businesses is communication a person who doesn't talk at all is still communicating most of the time, and in, in, in my opinion, when it's like that, it's it's pure body language. It's the actions you watch. But we can't get past the fact that one way or the other, we're going to communicate. So the thing is, in my opinion, for me, I practice it all the time. Because you can never communicate too much. You can never learn how to communicate to the T. Why? Because we live in an evolving society and things are forever changing as we can see all around us now, right? So communication is the only way that we can solve problems. And, and, and you know what, as a matter of fact, communicating, see, it, 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 you actually start communicating with yourself first, with, you know? It, you communicate if you 
communication starts with self going in and relaying the information to you that is what you need the information from you to you and what is that that sounds crazy doesn't it nope it's real simple don't lie to yourself don't lie to yourself how many of us lie to ourselves especially in business ego attaching ego to the business Woo! don't do that 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 will stop the communication that's a whole nother that's a whole nother conversation I don't want to get too far off the subject but being able to get your point across to the T and I dot it to whereas whoever we're communicating with have no questions. As a matter of fact, that should be a question. Is there any more questions? Do you have any questions? Please let me know. And I've learned just by me doing that, being more effective in my communication, letting, relaying my information to the T, to whoever I'm speaking with. And in the most cases in my in business, it's customers. Customers deserve to know. Never leave the customers in the dark. Let the customers know that the stain may not come out. Right? But let the customer know that we have the wherewithal to rem remove stains. See? We have the wherewithal, but... 50-50. Right? Instead, I mean, that it is what it is. Communication. The conversation. You just come in and start cleaning. And then you tell them then, hey, that might not come out. You know. And then some people say, well, um, I, I saw on your ad that you do spot removal. There's the symbol. You didn't even talk. It was already symbolized. Action. Yeah. I saw your website and you said that you remove spots and stains. Why are you telling me now that these stains won't come out? Uh, well, you didn't... Re did you put that in the internet? Did you put that on your website? <laughs> it's such a thin line between conversation and communication. And it's so fulfilling when you can embrace that attribute of communication. It clears the path for you, for me. I speak for myself, you know, but to to people, to, to anyone out there that might be wondering what, how you could upgrade in the business, in your business or whatever it is, we're doing carpet cleaning over here, but whatever it is, communication is key, starting with yourself and that communication is not lying. And that resonates because when you talk to other people, communication is not lying. Conversation is opinionated, so it can be a misunderstanding. You see that thin line? It's more effort to communicate, less effort to conversate. More beneficial to communicate. It's a gamble when you conversate. Right? So... I hope that what I'm saying is, is kind of going in. You know, I hope that, you know, who's ever watching can, you know, feel what I'm saying. 
and see exactly where I'm coming from. Uh, because it is, it, I mean, it's that thin line that I'm not saying it's going to make money come flying to you. But it will actually, to me, for me, what it did for me is it added on to the profit because of the customers that I started doing business with as opposed to the conversational business types that I was going through. The people who I was conversating with, those those customers, um, not, you know, they were nice people, but a lot of times there were misunderstandings based upon conversation and we're doing business so in business conversation has its place but communication is everything and it starts with communicating with self hmm? saying that I need to communicate more saying that I need to show more information verbally and show more information symbolically through symbols, you know, wording, you know, your website, words is everything. I think on the internet, they do a lot of uh, what they call SEO search engine optimization that has everything to do with words communication <laughs> right not conversation it's a lot of conversations on the internet i have a little conversation myself that's why i want to go and critique it to make it more communication hmm? we ain't got time for nothing else but business And, and one helping attribute to business is communication. Relaying your information out to the T. That takes effort. You can't be lazy. You know, if you're speaking to a customer, let's say you are going to do an estimate. When you're doing that estimate, you should communicate, relay the information that is within you. When the customer calls us, they're calling us for information. Period. They're calling us for information. And that information will trans will translate into business if the information has clarity. It's either business or no business. And not a if, not a misunderstanding, huh? Not a miscommunication where the customer is wishing they would have called someone else after you finished your product or your work. You know? Communication. So I'm not going to hold you long. Uh, I just wanted to share that with you all. Uh, communication is so vital. It is a delicate artery to the life of our businesses the delicate artery amongst the other arteries of course but it's, it's a delicate one and it's one that we actually take for granted we actually take communication for granted that is a customer let's see thank you for calling new clean how may I assist you this evening
Yes, of course. We of course we do um, all hard floor surfaces. We strip and we do put a recoat on it. Um, can you tell me where you're located? You're in Roswell. Okay. So you, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Could you repeat that for me? Right. So, so you just want it. You want. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you just want like a natural look, right? The natural buff. Okay. Great, great. We do that also. Let me ask you. Do you know the square footage of your hard floor? Yes. Yes. The square footage of all the areas combined that you want cleaned, a, a, approximately, yes. Six hundred square feet. Okay. Well, um, I would tell you that uh, what we like to do is we like to come out and give an estimate so we can have so we can have all accuracy of what we're getting into, and then we can also see the type of uh, fiber or floor that you have, and uh, we can test we can actually test the acrylic that you have built up, the wax that you have built up. Um, we do charge for that. Uh, we do have a fifty dollar minimum charge for that estimate. However, if you do decide to, to choose our services, we will deduct that from the price. Would you be interested in that? We charge, we start off at a dollar per square foot. For what you're asking for, it would be a dollar per square feet. Yes. Um. I would have to check the schedule. Uh, we're pretty, we're kind of booked this week, um, but we definitely do have availability this week. Um, if you could definitely, if you can uh, just relay a message to me, or if you can give me about an hour, I can give you a text uh, that to let you know when we do have availability. Okay, all right, well, just give me a few, and I will definitely give you a text to let you know when we're available, and uh, you can let me know if you wanna go through with the process. It's a dollar even, four quarters for uh, each per square feet. Uh, can I ask you what's your name? Clement. Okay, my name is Chris Clement. All right, so uh, yeah, I'll be giving you that text and uh, you just let me know uh, what you wanna do. All right, all right, appreciate you, thank you. All right. Now, I'm sorry, people, I didn't mean to take that away, but I had to handle some business, and I just wanted you to see exactly how I handled that. See, now, the customer told me that they were gonna give me a call back. I'm waiting for the call. You see, I communicated exactly how much well, I told them at first, I asked them, because I like to let customers, you know, feel free. Do you know the square footage? Because we can cut to the, right to the chase. If you can give me the square footage, I can give you the price. But sometimes we know most people don't really know the accuracy. But it's all in fairness to give them that much so we can go ahead and give somewhat of some communication of the price over the phone, right? I'm fair, but in all fairness, if you want an accurate price, if we want, we want to know what we're getting into, hey, we come out and we give an estimate. See, that's communication. So I'm letting him know for all accuracy, for us to know what we're getting into, we charge $50 to come out. Just 50, not a much, right? And then if you choose our services, we will deduct that from the price.
So the estimate is actually free if you choose our services. See? No misunderstanding at all. Everything is laid out. He asked me, hey, how much do you charge for it? I charge a die. We start at a dollar per square for what you're asking. And what he wanted was just for us to strip the wax and just to buff it out. No recoding. No problem. We start that off at a dollar. We start that off at a dollar. This is a phone estimate. We have to come out. We will test the acrylic. We will test to see how much wax you have on your floor. Because you know some floors have more wax than others. Okay? So I can't charge you a dollar per square for this type of wax if you have that much wax on your floor. Right? Communication is key, y'all. I'm not going to hold you. Got to go. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Keep your head up. I hope you all had a great week. If you didn't have a great week, embrace that too. Because that's life and that's business. Y'all take care. I'm going to see y'all in the next Mind Your Business. And I'll be minding minds. Peace out.